Hey shouters, what's up? So welcome to another video episode of Shout Me Loud. I'm your host Harsh and today video is for again for the WordPress users and I guess like this is probably fourth or fifth videos in past few days on WordPress. So you know basically you guys are on a treat. Now today video is for for people who want to optimize their website for good user experience and also for the search engine optimization. And I actually told mention about this plugin in my last video, uh, in my last video about how, you know, the Google SERP SEO hack. I did mention about this plugin where it shows the page content. And I'm actually going to show you how this plugin works, what are the benefits and some, you know, hidden tricks, tips and tricks that you can use to optimize the usage of this plugin. All right. So the plugin which I'm talking about is called table of content plugin. And what it does is it add a page table of content on your article automatically. Now it, it has a lot of benefits and some of the benefits are especially, you know, when we are creating long form content, it helps user to quickly navigate from, you know, one topic to another topic. And that's what this table of content does. Now, another benefit, which is from the SEO perspective is it actually helps to add this kind of jump links in the Google search. So you can see that like, this is the jump link, which is within the article itself. And just by using this plugin, you'll be able to do this. Now, the third thing is sometimes you actually get featured on featured snippet just by using this plugin. You don't have to do anything extra. So, you know, like th these are some of the benefits, direct benefits of using table of content. And this is something that you should be using it. There's one more benefit that I would show you in a bit, but let's go ahead and let's see which plugin is this, what it does, right? So the plugin name is Easy Table of Content. It's a free plugin which is available on WordPress plugin repo. Now there are similar, many similar plugins like Table of Content Plus is out there, Lucky WP Table of Content. But the one that I prefer and use is Easy Table of Contents. It has about 100,000 downloads. Now this is a plug and play plugin. So once you install and activate this plugin, here is this, here is how the settings look like. Now you can enable the support on the post pages or specific custom post type. So in my case, I've enabled it on my post and pages. Now you can enable, enable the auto insert feature on specific post time, or you can manually enable or add this table of content and specific post. Now to make, make your work easier, just use the auto insert feature. And that's what I'm using right now. Now there are a few things you can configure, like on which position you want this table of content to be shown. You can, you can enable it when you're using, you know, more than one or two heading. Now heading could be your H2 tag and H3 tag, or you can also include H4 tag. That is also configurable. Now you can enable to display the header label and you can customize it. You know, you can use something like table of content or you can use something like this is what you're going to learn, you know, either way. Now, similarly, once you have done all this, just simply go down, click on save changes. Now, once this is done, whenever you are publishing a new blog post or even in your all your old blog post, easy table of content plugin will add table of content just like this. You see here and you click on this and people straight away go to that particular part. Now this is one plugin that I found it so useful that I've included in our recommended SEO WordPress plugin post. I will leave the link of the page and the plugin in the description below. Anyways, so here is here are a few interesting things, right? So when you're writing, when you're editing an old post, you also get the option to customize this plugin for specific pages. Like for example, you want to disable the table of content on specific blog post or pages. You can do that from the settings on the post edit section. Similarly, you can enable or disable, exclude certain headings if you like. You can also exclude headings by the heading name. Like you can simply copy the heading title, for example, you know, you can just copy this and it will exclude it from including inclu to include in the table of content side. Now, most of the time you may not be using it, but you know, it's good to know that what are the possibilities with this plugin. So I know a lot of you struggle with heading tags and there's one easy way in, in the latest WordPress to check uh, your heading tag structure is by clicking on this icon and this shows the content structure. So when you click on this, you can see it shows the title, then S2 tag, and then S3, S3 tag. Now it's also good practice by using this. You can also see like sometime you make mistake of using S3 tag first and then S2 tag, or there is no proper hierarchy. Now that's a bad structure even for your user and for the SEO. So, uh, so you know, this actually helps you to improve your content structure as well. 
If there is any question that you have about easy table of content or around WordPress and SEO, let me know in the comment section below. If you want me to do a video on a specific topic, you can let me know in the comment section below. I will see you in the next video. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye. This is Harsh. <music>